Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are all doing great. Today's recipe is a gluten free rice roti made with brown rice that is rice with bran. And guys if you are looking for gluten free recipes please do check my oats roti recipe. It's one of my favorite these days and I'm kind of loving it and I'm so happy that I could create a roti with just oats, water and salt. So guys please do check the oats roti recipe links will be updated below this video rice roti is known as patri it's a dish from malabar which is where i am currently living traditionally patri was made with kerala red rice known as matta rice uh, the rice was soaked overnight and then it was stone ground and then it was lightly cooked so that it can be kneaded to a smooth dough a clay pan or a kalchatti was used to make these slightly thick patris over the years, for ease and convenience, refined white rice flour is used to make patris. By using refined white rice flour, patris can be made really smooth and thin. And using white rice is much easier than using Kerala matta rice. So I went a step ahead and I'm using uh, white rice with the bran in this recipe. If you are a regular on my channel, then you might have noticed this rice. I started using this rice about two years ago and at that time it was only available at uh, Wynard. Wynard is a hill station just two hours from Kodikot, the place I am currently living in. These days I am seeing this particular rice in most grocery shops here in Kodikot like uh, Jai Babaj or Milma Green. So if you are from Kodikot, you can go to these shops and get this rice. It is locally known as Matta Pacheri. So uh, maybe because it has the pran, it is now locally known as Matta Pacheri. And rice being staple in our family's diet, you should try to include to use rice with pran or single polished white rice in your family's diet. Whole grains has more fiber. And it will help to manage health issues like thyroid, PCOS, diabetes and even piles. And guys, thank you so much for the love and appreciation you have showered on me on my last video. I'm truly overwhelmed by your support and love. At the end of this video, I'll be answering some more questions. So feel free to comment below this video with the hashtag AskNishaHomi so that it will be much easier for me to find your comments. So guys, let's get started with the recipe. So guys, uh, the rice on the left is white rice with the bran and the one on the right is refined white rice. I made rice flour with the rice with the bran. Hence, the rice roti will be slightly brown in color with specks of bran. To make rice roti, also known as patri in Malayalam, I am using roasted rice flour made from white rice which has bran on it. So into a bowl, I am adding in 2 cups of roasted rice flour. I am adding in 1 fourth teaspoon salt and just lightly mix this up. I have already added 3 cups of water in a wide pan and I am going to allow this to boil. Ok now the water has boiled and now put the flame on the lowest and then slowly add in the rice flour and mix it with a wooden spoon. Now once it is nicely mixed, turn off the heat and then cover it with a lid and allow it to cool down. So what I am going to do is I am just going to knead this with wet hands into a smooth dough. So for 2 cups of rice you need 3 cups of water. The proportion of water varies with the rice you are using. If you are using refined white rice then you will only need 2 cups of water for 2 cups of roasted white rice flour. To help it knead, you can sprinkle in little water on and off. You don't need any extra oil. You can just sprinkle in little water like this as you need. Okay, now I have kneaded it into a soft dough and it is ready to make rice roti. To make rice roti, I am using an iron tawa. Using an iron tawa helps in better iron absorption. So if you have iron deficiency, anemia, you should try to cook your daily meals in an iron tawa or a cast iron pan. A patri or a rice roti is made in a patri press. This is almost like a chapati press. Making rice roti in 
a patri press is much easier than rolling it out so first i'm going to grease with coconut oil you can use desi ghee instead of coconut oil now the addition of desi ghee and coconut oil in rice and wheat helps to lower the glycemic index of rice and wheat i have pinched off a small dough i'm just smoothing out the dough and now place the dough not in the center but a little towards the side like this and then and then press it turn it to the other side and and press it once more and rice roti is ready now you can transfer it to the hot tawa now place the rolled out rice roti onto the hot tawa and reduce the flame to the lowest after about 30 seconds turn it to the other side after about another 30 seconds again flip it to the other side and put the flame on the highest and with a cotton cloth lightly press the roti and as you can see the roti starts to puff now flip it over once more and again lightly press it with the cotton cloth and once the roti has nicely puffed up remove it to a plate now to keep the roti soft what i have done is i have put a cotton cloth in a container and i'm placing the roti inside it and once all the rotis are cooked i'll be wrapping this with the cotton cloth now this will keep the roti soft all through the day so if you're making this in the morning it will stay soft till evening now the second method is much more easier and i'll be using two sheets of plastic so i'm keeping one sheet onto the plate and i have pinched off some dough and i'm just rolling it into a smooth dough you need to roll it each time like this before you make the roti now place the roti not on the center but a little on to the side and cover it with the other plastic sheet and press it down and you get perfectly shaped rice roti so just remove it place it on the hot tawa put the flame on the lowest and then allow it to cook for about 30 seconds now flip it to the other side and again flip it one more time and then press lightly with a cotton cloth and once the roti has lightly puffed up remove it from the tawa Now for those who don't have a chapati maker like the one I used you can use a wet cloth now place the wet cloth on the work surface and pinch off some dough and again knead it with your hands to make it into a soft dough now place the roti onto the wet cotton cloth now this is the same technique i have used to make jawar roti i have already shared the video you don't need any rolling pin or bell and or chapati press you can just press it out with your hand so for that i'm dipping my fingers in water and i'm just pressing it out now i'm going to use the ends of the uh, cotton cloth to level it out So if you are a bachelor or living alone you can try this method make sure that your finger is wet and you can just smooth out like this you can shape the sides with your fingers like i'm showing now instead of a cotton cloth you can also use a banana leaf so now i have rolled it out and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to place the roti like this onto the tawa and then remove the cotton cloth it's so easy you can make a rice roti or jawar roti or even ragi roti in the same way now after about 30 seconds just flip it over 
and then lightly press down with a cotton cloth. This is an excellent meal option for those with thyroid and PCOS. And you can serve patri with fresh coconut milk as it is traditionally served in Malabar region or with any side dish of your choice. Here I have served one patri with dried peace masala curry, some shallots and two pieces of oil free fish fry and I have already shared the recipe for oil free fish fry. The links will be updated below this video. So guys do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. The first question is from Divya Pari. Hey Divya, so nice to meet you here. So her question is, can you suggest a nice brand that is good? Do you count macros for yourself? The other knife I mostly use in my daily cooking is a local one uh, by the name Poly brand. It is very sharp though it is not that great looking but I kind of like it and I use it for my daily cooking. And I also have another knife which one of my classmates Jinu uh, got it custom made from Italy and I use it to finely mince vegetables. About macros, no I don't count macros for myself but yeah I make sure that my meals are nutrient dense that is with the required amount of carbs, fats and protein. So it's just a matter of balancing all this. The next question is by Sudha Vetri. Her question is thank you for all the information you are sharing with us. You have sound knowledge about food. Please keep up the good work. Kindly address the problem of menopause. What is the best food to take for bone loss caused by drop in estrogen levels during menopause? It's a serious problem forced by majority of women in their 40s and 50s. So Sudha, once you reach 30s, your bone mass naturally begins to drop with age. There is actually a relationship between the lack of estrogen after menopause and the development of osteoporosis. The best way to deal with it apart from a healthy lifestyle is to exercise on a regular basis. Exercise actually makes the bones and muscles stronger and helps to prevent bone loss. And another thing you should consider is to get enough calcium naturally through food. Getting enough calcium through calcium rich foods like seafood, green leafy vegetables like uh, for example moringa leaves including turmeric in your diet etc will help to an extent. Another important thing is vitamin D. Actually vitamin D helps in better absorption of calcium. Now we all know the best natural option for vitamin D is sunlight. So even though you might be getting plenty of uh, sunlight these days uh, there are many issues of uh, vitamin D deficiency. Now remember that vitamin D is fat soluble. That means you need a healthy fat for better absorption of vitamin D. So adding healthy fats like desi ghee will help in the absorption of vitamin D to a greater extent. You can also watch my video on desi ghee to understand more. And also comment below with the hashtag ask Nisha Homi so that it will be much easier for me. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.